Finnish food, probably not your first thought when thinking of destination cuisines. But this Nordic country can surprise you. Take for instance, this market at Summer's Peak with fresh berries, locally caught fish, and the occasional ice cream. Even though it can be quite photogenic, some people don't care too much for Finnish food. Yeah, it's disgusting. You feed this to horses and donkeys or do you eat this at home? Oh, what? Oh. You don't have to be so dramatic, Chef Ramsay. It's not like British food is good. Perfect. In all honesty, even Finnish people will look at you kind of funny if you came to Finland specifically for the food. And while Finnish food isn't bad, it definitely ranks on the blander side of the culinary spectrum. With that being said though, there's another persona non grata in the Finnish gastronomic landscape. Not just Gordon Ramsay, but also former Italian Prime Minister Silvio Berlusconi. If you're unfamiliar with Berlusconi, just think of him like an Italian Trump. He's a media mogul, ripe with tax fraud, turned Prime Minister, who later served a sentence in prison for his notorious Boonga Boonga parties. Which, if you need a bit of an explanation, here you go. Prime Minister is on trial now, alleged to have paid for sex with a 17-year-old belly dancer, also known as Ruby the Heart Stealer. The details of this case are, are tawdry, to put it mildly. This all began at one of those infamous Bunga Bunga parties uh, that Berlusconi used to throw, right? The Bunga party is, Carlos. Talk, talk to me, bro. Well, there's a few meanings. One is that it's a... a, a, a so, Don't worry about it, A bro. naked party involving a lot of activity. Bunga, Bunga party. Hallelujah. Anyway, in the mid-2000s, the EU was expanding rapidly and adding to it numerous institutions, one of which being the European Food Safety Authority. Initially, it was planned to be headquartered in Helsinki. This didn't fly with Berlusconi. In Berlusconi's eyes, Helsinki was the worst possible destination for this institution. Rather, he thought that the Italian city Parma, known for its prosciutto and culatella, was much better suited to judge the EU's food and safety standards. He justified this by saying that Finns didn't even know what prosciutto was, and that Finns only ate marinated reindeer, according to Berlusconi. To Berlusconi, Finnish food was a chore. Something he said he had to endure, endure, on his trips up north to Finland. The Finnish press didn't take too kindly to Berlusconi's remarks and had a bit of a field day lampooning him. Benvenuto in Finlandia. Tervetuloa Suomeen. Sappiamo. Che cosa è il prosciutto? Me todellakin tiedämme, mitä prosciutto on. Buen divertimento in Finlandia, ma non ci telefonare. Siamo troppo vecchie per te. Pidä hauskaa Suomessa, mutta älä soittele. Olemme liian vanhoja sinulle. Ciao, Ciao bello! Adding on to his derision of Finn's lack of knowledge of Italian dry cured meats, Berlusconi also said that he used his playboy charm on the Finnish president, Tadja Holloman, Finland's first female president and noted Conan doppelganger. So you don't see the similarity here? You don't think? I don't, I don't think. I think that in the picture they can they might no, see. No, you don't see? Okay. Right here, we'll see. Okay. No? Well, I think uh, a little bit, oh, a little yeah. bit, I think. I, I, it's just a... It looks much better on you than on me. At the end of the day though, Italy had a lot more political weight and chalking it all up to Berlusconi's playboy charm this is kind of just a publicity stunt for him back home. The Finns did not walk away empty handed though and ended up with the European Chemicals Agency, which is to this day still headquartered in Helsinki. Berlusconi might be right. Let's let the Finns handle the dangerous chemicals and the Italians can stick to food. Also, I went to the store and I found this. So Berlusconi might have also been right because I'm not 100% sure Finns actually know what prosciutto is. The Finnish people responded to Berlusconi's diplomatic snafus with a really justified revenge, a throat punch to the Italian psyche that came in the form of pizza. At the Coti Pizza in Vasa, Jarmo Valtteri came up with a pizza that would put Finland on the pizza map worldwide. Now, 
Koti Pizza is a Finnish chain, literally meaning home pizza. But Koti Pizza has since expanded internationally. There's locations in the Baltic states, Russia, China, and there's even one in South Korea. So back in Vasa, Jarmo Valtteri crafted a pizza that took elements of the very best that Finnish cuisine had to offer. Red onions, chanterelles, ground smoked reindeer, all on top of a rye flour crust combined to make a delicious pizza. So delicious that it was entered into an international pizza competition in New York, the America's Plate competition, where it won first prize, beating out even the Italian entry. How's that for karmic justice? Oh, and the pizza's name? Pizza Berlusconi. Berlusconi. The Italian embassy, right behind me right there, issued a statement at one point saying that Coti Pizza had to stop using the name Pizza Berlusconi. The CEO of Coti Pizza responded that Silvio should just come to Finland for himself and try Pizza Berlusconi. But they received no response and the name still sticks today. Since Koti Pizza is a chain, you can try Pizza Berlusconi all over Finland. So how does it actually taste? Now, I'm from New Jersey, smack dab in the middle of the pizza belt. So I take my pizza pretty seriously. I have to admit, there's a lot of weird stuff going on with Finnish pizza. But Pizza Berlusconi, I can get behind. Now, I know I said I wouldn't be making any videos about, oh, American trying salmiaki for the first time type videos, or really clickbaity videos like that. There's a time and a place for that. That's not me. However, I provided enough political and cultural context where I feel it's justified that you get to watch me eat this specific pizza. So sit back, enjoy, and let's go for it. People are getting exactly what you want. I know you love watching foreigners react to Finnish food, so you're gonna get your American eating pizza Berlusconi. But what if, instead of just an American, we also had an Australian? This is Will, my roommate. Hey, I'm from Adelaide, Australia. I'm half Finnish, just like him. No, well, half is a loose term, but we'll, we'll take it. Mm -hmm. Have you ever had pizza Berlusconi? Never. Never well, seen it. Oh, wow. There it is. So let's pull it up for the camera. Take a slice. Okay, okay. This is what the people love. This is what they're reacting. So it's got rye bread crust, reindeer. Rye bread crust. Rye bread crust. You Very barely good. taste it though. So, yeah, chanterelles. Okay, this looks interesting. It definitely is. This. It's good, right? It's delicious. Yeah. You, you don't just react for the camera, too. You can be honest. If it's trash, you can no, say it's, it's trash. Salty. It's nice. it, it is salty. It is salty. I like the rye bread as well. It's like interesting, too. Yeah. It's, I mean, the onion could be a little bit smaller, but you know. Yeah, yeah. What I like about it is it's like not trying to copy anything. Like, this is like notoriously finished, mm. too, which I think is, in a way, kind of better than anything else. Yeah, yeah. I think I'm going to order this again. It's good. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Especially the reindeer, too. They've. I forgot this is reindeer. <laughs> yeah, it's Literally, reindeer. Oh my god, yeah. Yeah, it's like ground smoked reindeer. Wow. It's. In the past years, they've gone a little bit lower every time, but. Yeah. Yeah, it's salty. It's nice, I like it. Yeah, it's really salty. And like the rye crust, like, it's like subtle, you know? It's not like too overpowering, but you can still. Like, it almost feels like a Rui Slepa. You can kind of see a little bit of that, like, you can texture. Taste it at the end. You can taste it at the end. That's yeah, strong, yeah. Like, that rye bread taste. 